what's up traders welcome back to another video here at forex live hope everyone is doing good if you're tired of losing money and you have a small account and you really want to catch some spikes or scalp the market to grow your account then this is the strategy for you if this is your first time on the channel please go ahead and like subscribe also comment down below how the strategy has been working for you remember this is not financial advice this is just a strategy to help improve your trading absolutely free and educational so what i'm going to do today guys is i'm going to run through the strategy real quickly as you can see it's very simple very easy to use and then at the end of the video i'll go ahead and show you the indicators that you can load onto your chart please do not skip to the end for the indicators and then you don't know how the actual strategy works so let's get into it this works on all boom and crash pairs. You will be able to scalp the market, so which means selling on boom, and you will be able to buy on crash as well. And you will be able to catch the spikes. So as you can see, what we're looking for when we are catching spikes in the market, we're looking for these two moving averages to touch level 10. Okay, remember, as I said in my previous video, and I'll mention in all of my videos, these built-in indicators sometimes do lag. So we have been at level 10 since I've entered the market over there. Okay, so it's lagging. However, it is indicating that a spike is about to happen. So what you can do is you can go ahead and enter the trade like I did once we've reached level 10. And you can hold for 10 to 20 candles, dependent on your account size. Okay, and we wait for that spike to happen. This indicates that the spike is happening. If we go back and we look at the market, we can see once it's reached level 10, the spike happens. We go back and we can check. Once it reached level 10, the spike happens. So that is what we are waiting for over here. We are waiting for the spike to happen. Now, in order to sell on boom, it's just the complete opposite all you need to do is you need to wait for the crossover over here at level 90 okay you wait for this crossover to happen once this crossover happens you go ahead and you take five candles you scalp five candles you close okay you scalp five candles and you close the market you close your trade like i said it works on all pairs so here we can see we have another opportunity to enter buy. Why can we enter buy? Because we are at level 10. Both moving averages on indicator 1 is showing us that a spike is about to happen. And in order for us to take our cells, same thing, we wait for the crossover to happen. We enter the cell, take 5 candles, and we close the trade. If we have a look on crash 1000 it's just the complete opposite in order for us to take the spikes of course we are now going to be looking at level 90 for the spikes so over here once the two moving averages touches level 90 we go ahead and we enter the trade and we catch our spike and then if we are looking for buys which is over here level 10 we can go ahead we can enter the trade we can buy and then what do we do we hold for five candles however that was a premature buy i'm going to close that buy because we did not see the crossover happen yet we need to wait for the crossover to happen remember that we always wait for the crossover to happen So over here the crossover happened once the crossover happened we can enter our buy and we can take five candles once we reach level 90 over there we can enter for our spike it's a very very easy and simple strategy to use guys i want you guys to know that you can scalp the market you can catch spikes whichever you prefer okay so let's just have a look we still haven't gotten a spike there yet 
that's one two three four five six seven candles and you can use this on any zoom level any zoom level it does not matter let's check boom 500 nothing yet okay so while we wait i'm going to show you guys the settings real quickly so it's just three indicators that we will be using for the strategy remember if it is your first time on this channel please go ahead like subscribe comment down below and share this video as much as you can guys so that new traders that is getting into the market and need a bit of assistance this video will be pushed out to them we want to help as much traders out there as possible so let's get into the settings so the first indicator you are going to load is your rsi your relative strength index and that's going to be period one apply to close and the color is going to be the color of your background on your chart so my chart's background is black so this will be black okay yours is white yours will be white the levels you're going to make it level 10 and level 90 those are the two levels that we need on the rsi once you're done adding the rsi you're going to add the moving average so you're going to go to indicator window one where it says f plus on indicator window one that is where you're going to press and you're going to add the moving average so your first moving average is period five shift zero method exponential apply to close and you can make it any color of your choice we're then going to go ahead and we're going to click on the f plus icon again at indicator window one over here and we're going to add another moving average this moving average everything will stay the same just the period you're going to change from 5 to 15 and you're going to change the color you can make it any color of your choice once you're done you click save and your chart should look like this and then like I said, you can hold based on your account size, on how long you want to wait for the spike to happen. Let's see, on crash 1000, there the crossover happened. So once the crossover, once the crossover happened like that, we can go ahead and take our buy trade and we hold that for five candles. Okay, we hold that for five candles and then we take our profit. From the buys and then on boom 1000 we are still holding like i said you can hold for 10 candles or 20 candles dependent on your account size and your risk management if you have a very small account go ahead and use hack lots i'll put the link in the description below that shows you how you can even use a smaller lot size on your trades but I'm just going to pause the video and I'm going to come back and then we can have a look to see if it spiked in 20 candles. If not, I'll then go ahead and close this trade. Okay, so here we can see on boom 500, we caught that spike. We entered when the two moving averages were at level 10. We had a bit of a drawdown, but we ended in profits. On crash 1000, you can see that we've reached our five candles. So we're going to go ahead and close with our profit. And that was the buy that we took because of the crossover at level 10. On boom 500, we caught that spike. So you can go ahead and close your profits. And on boom 1000, we are still waiting. I'm holding 20 candles. If no spike in 20 candles, I'll go ahead and close this trade. But here you guys can see exactly how this strategy works. And if you guys are happy with it, test it on demo first. Let me know in the comments how it's working for you guys. Remember, it does lag, but use risk management, use hack lots. The link will be in the description below. If you guys' accounts are extremely small, $10 or below. And also, guys, I want to introduce you guys to prop firms. If you don't know what prop firms is, prop firms is where you basically use the broker's money. Um, in order to trade and you only pay a small percentage for the account this is for forex pairs cryptos indices like us 30 and so forth um, if you guys are interested i'll leave a link in the description below as well as a code a discount code that you can use where you will get 30 percent off your first purchase on any account size i'm currently trading prop firms 
and this is the prop firm that I highly recommend so I'll see you guys on the next video remember to check out the links in the description below and share this video like and subscribe